Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's see what's going on here in your love life. Oh, I'm going to take the temperance because that was the one that flipped out or flipped over. Tell us more about this message, Holy Spirit. Five of Swords. Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. hmm. Tell us more about this message, Holy Spirit. Knight of Cups. All right. I hear this message so clearly, and the message is, I choose you. <laughs> there is a decision that your love interest did not want to have to make. Tell us more about this message, please. Ten of Cups. Tell us more about this message. King of Swords. Yep, there's a decision that they were resisting to have to make. Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. But it was something that was harmful to the connection. And I feel like they were hoping that you would, that you wouldn't, you wouldn't force them to make this decision. I feel like it's a decision that they were holding off and sort of ignoring and hoping that you would be quiet or complacent, that you would just settle. But I feel like you kept on, of course, expressing yourself. I feel like you're very vocal in making it clear to your person that you weren't okay with what was happening and that you wanted them to do something about it. And it got your person was very stubborn in making this decision. They did not want to make a choice. So I feel like in a way you gave them an ultimatum. And that ultimatum is it's me or them. It's simple. It's like I, I hear you. I don't feel like you did much talking after that. I either go or you get rid of these people and I'll stay. You either get rid of these people and I'll stay or you can keep these people and I'll go. Yeah. You... You're not like your person, you know, I'm, I like how you weren't uh, tolerating what they were trying to do. I really love that about you, how vocal, how expressive you are, because I see it here. They were really hoping that you would turn a blind eye to a very obvious problem. They were hoping that you would just be complacent, that you would just settle and that they could hold off on having to make this decision. But the problem is so bad that I feel it was one of the first things that you noticed in this connection. And I really feel like it was a decision that's connected to their family or a family friend. I do. Um, the temperance, there is peace and there is harmony now. Why? Because your person finally made the choice to let go of the, uh, those toxic people. And I feel like it was people. Tell us about those toxic people. Card literally fell yeah your person got rid of them the tower is a major ending major endings major reveals the world and the lovers and I feel like it's a permanent ending the world is a successful completion that leads to your desirable outcome so you and your person get to be together in peace because of the dramatic ending between them and another person or people. What were those people doing? What was the toxicity with those other people? What was the toxicity with those other people? What was, man, the, the card wants to talk. Wow. The card wants to talk because your person wants you to know that they choose you over the problem. 
they choose you. That's what your person wants to tell you because you're on the verge of leaving the Eight of Cups and they don't want you to leave, which is why I feel their energy is pushing the cards out to for me to relay this information to you that they have made the decision that they were refusing to make. But what was that toxic situation? I mean, it's going to be different for, yeah, the cards aren't saying it. Everything is fine. And, you know, it's going to be different for everyone. But things have been smooth over. Um, Two of Cups is just you and your person now. No more jealous, toxic outsiders. I feel like those were, I feel like there was a person or people who were very malicious and vicious in trying to separate the two of you. And the cards are not going into it because their energy is no longer evident in y'all's connection. Their energy is now out of the picture, which is why everything is fine is here. And again, I'm very proud of you for standing your ground because your person's very stubborn. It was a decision that they were really supposed to make long before you came into their life, which is why when you entered their life, they were hoping that, that the problem would be hidden from you so that they still wouldn't have to make a decision. But I feel like when you entered their life, what they were hoping would be hidden was it became very apparent and it was too it was too obvious to ignore and I feel like you spoke up about it very early on in the connection so that they would do something about it I mean your person has literally severed ties with those people their energy is not present which is why I even tried to ask and see what was the problem what was you know the toxic people everything is fine came out there's no longer three people now in this connection, five of swords. It's two, two of swords. No longer three, no longer an outsider because your person is worried sick <laughs> that you're going to leave them. Look at you, eight of cups, walking away from an investment, walking away from everything that the two of you built and established, you packed your bags, you're ready to go. And they're hoping that you don't go. They're hoping that you would know or soon find out that they've made the decision that they were really resisting to make. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Three of Swords. The Three of Swords represents heartbreak, separations, yeah, separations. That's what came out when we clarified the Eight of Cups. Let's look at the Knight of Cups. Someone who wants to make amends, perhaps. And the thing is, they kept on trying to convince you that everything's fine, everything's fine, so that they wouldn't have to make this change or cut out this toxic problem. But you kept on saying, nope, everything's not fine. Nope, 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 nope. Everything is not fine. That's what you kept on saying. That is what you kept on saying. Everything is not fine. Until you make these changes, I'm going. Clarify the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups typically represents someone who wants to make amends. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. That was the death card, by the way, which is so symbolic and significant because your person's going through major endings, but also spiritual endings. Like they're going through major endings that's sparking a spiritual transformation in their life. Clarify Knight of Cups. Clarify Knight of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Clarify Knight of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune represents a karmic wheel. What goes around comes back around. Um, it could also represent something that's fated and destined to happen. So this person knows that if they lose you, they're pretty much losing the love of their life. You, they know that you're the one who they're meant to be with. It's clear. It's, it's like a done deal. They know it. They know it's fated for the two of you to be together. So if they lose you, that's them losing their one and only true love. 
and they just can't risk that. Look at look at the nine of swords. The nine of swords represents someone who's in great distress over this. They're worrying, they're having anxieties over this. It was either you or remain uh, connected to toxic people, places, and things. It was a decision they did not want to make and they were hoping that they would get the best of both worlds. That they would still, uh, still be connected to, to these toxic people and, and also while still being with you. Mm -mm. You can't get the best of both worlds. If you want a high vibrational person, if you want a good person, you also have to make good decisions in your life. Because God is not going to bless you with someone only for you to sabotage the blessing due to poor decisions. In order for the two of you to be together, they had to have cut out this these toxic people, places, and things. There was going to be no coming together successfully if the, these people weren't out of the picture. All right. So we're going to, wow. Okay, your person is talking to me. Like they want me to tell you this. They want me to tell you this. There's more that they want they, that they want to say to you. But we always keep the love reading short and sweet. We're going to continue it in the extended. The link to the extended is going to be in the description box. It'll also be pinned in the comment section. Um, it should be the first comment that you see in the uh, in that in the comment section. Okay, it'll be pinned. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the extended. Um, if you're interested in getting a private reading with me, definitely check out the, the description box. The link to my website will be there. And yeah, you guys take care and see you guys in the extended.